actually there might be much easier way to duplicate or have uh, many spheres but I don't know how and for the first sphere it has radius R and actually all of them have radius R and the center of this sphere is 0, 0, 0, 0.1 the second one also has radius R and the center of the sphere A the third one similar to this one fourth one The last one and I build all of them you see here that I already have eight spheres at the vertices of this shape what I need to do next is to remove any part of the sphere outside the primitive unit cell and for this first I will union all of this sphere together can select all of them from the select box but actually it will also select the primitive cell so you click on it to disable it and then go to booleans here union and when I choose this union I go make intersection between these spheres and the primitive cell so I can choose intersection from booleans here select the spheres which are called Yoni1 and this uh, unit cell and build all object you see here now I have only the spheres without uh, this air surrounding to create this or the dielectric surrounding to create this uh, dielectric surrounding I duplicate this hexahedron again and you see that now it's filled again let's go to the definitions again and define an explicit selection I call one selection as air I know that my spheres are holes actually so they are air I select all of them duplicate this one and call it dielectric and I choose the interior of the shape go to the material add material from library select air two times one as a dielectric and one as an air here I call it dielectric and in the domain here I chose the dielectric one I already defined in the definitions and for the air I select air the last thing is to define the periodic conditions and to make it easier as well let's go first to definitions again and selections explicit choose boundary group by continuous tangent I choose this boundary and this boundary and call this periodic boundary condition one duplicate this one and for the third and phase and this is periodic boundary condition two periodic boundary condition three periodic boundary condition 2 I choose the other two sides and in 3 I choose the top first the top and the bottom one so just to make sure you can see the wire grid of the shape here and go to periodic condition 1 so the two opposite faces are defined 
and for this one also and for the third one great now we can go to the electromagnetic wave frequency domain and define a periodic boundary condition from here I have three phase uh, six phase uh, yeah I have uh, six phases so two phases for each periodic condition and here I choose periodic boundary condition one two and three each one I keep flow k periodicity kx of k ky of k kz of k similarly for this one kx of k ky of k kz of k the last one here kx of k I go to the study parametric sweep and sweep this value k as we said from 0 to 7.346 and whatever number of values you need but uh, the more points the more time it will take I keep it 50 for example and go to this eigenfrequency here after a run of simulations actually I found that when you choose uh, the parameter like this one here because you know cons console will not converge easily to get all the modes or all the bands unless you start to play a little bit with these parameters here I found the best parameters would be uh, to choose one E7 and uh, 6 and choose larger real part here I need 10 bands because as you already see here the photonic band gap is between the 9s and uh, 8 and 9s band so I need to make sure that I already get the solution for these bands then go to the mesh here keep it physics controlled and build all you will find some error and this error actually because I don't know console have this strange problem when it defines some of the uh, boundary conditions over some surface it takes some other area as you see here so what all you do is to disable or deselect this area again similarly do for the second phase and the third thing for the last phase here And then again build all you will see that there is no any problem at all I would keep the maximum unit cell because I already know that um, the spheres are of air so the wavelength in air is pretty large compared to the epsilon here so to to get the modes probably i need to make a finer mesh for this uh, dielectric here and how i do this is to go to size duplicate this one have it up here again and choose the domain choose the electric and make the mesh in this area is divided by two compared to the surrounding of there or four just to start to see that it already makes a difference yeah now it start to make a difference make it divided by eight even yeah now you see that last thing keep it defined divided by ten and then I go to study parametric sweep and run the simulation the simulation I finished uh, and uh, I don't know yours how much how long does it take to do the simulation but mine take like one hour 48 minutes 
and I already get this nice results uh, as long as you see this uh, kind of uh, uniform smooth electric field that means your results are correct uh, so once you finish you will find the results here under the electromagnetic electric field uh, results tab you can actually display the electric fields for uh, many bands and I get already all the bands and uh, you need just to make sure that all your bands have real value for the frequency which means that they are propagating and uh, not just an artifact of the console mesh or error uh, uh, one main feature I need to mention here that as you see most of the electric field is localized near the gap uh, not the gap the, the electric between the spheres that's why I tried I uh, I made this sphere of radius slightly smaller than r divided by square root 8 just to have some width here because if they were exactly touching the sphere will take so long time because the field here will be singular and actually in real life you will never get something like of zero sickness but uh, now the results uh, seem very good actually to plot the dispersion diagram then we go to the results 1d plot group make sure you choose a parametric solution here and right click on this one line graph not line graph uh, global here and I plot the normalized frequency multiplied by 8 in its cell length divided by the speed of light and then make sure you choose this access source data as outer solution here make sure you plot all the data points and you get this nice curve exactly like the results we have shown just to compare you can uh, make your axis exactly as in the paper we are comparing to they plot the y-axis from 0 to 1 and again we will remove this uh, legend here and superimpose put the results on the top of each other and see if they match or not go to the legend and don't show it And take this as image snapshot okay now I paste the results from console here and as you see I have my band gap slightly shifted a little bit to the, uh, down at lower frequency because I didn't uh, select the radius exactly as in this paper but at least you see the the same behavior here you can go here for example and see that the data points exactly above the dispersion diagram obtained by the paper actually they plot more than 10 modes that's why I don't have modes in the upper region here but anyway the results match uh, perfectly uh, I hope you guys uh, learned something from this video and uh, please leave any comment if you have any questions